final keyword. It's not the final keyword, but it is final as a keyword. Now, as I hope that you remember, and I'm sure that you understood at the time, in the inheritance subject, the inheritance provides reusing existing codes, but sometimes we need to limit some of the properties for, well, many, many reasons. The final keyword allows us to do this. So it's a, think of it as a limiter. In this section, we will look at what the final keyword actually means for classes, methods, as well as variables. The final keyword can be implemented in class, methods, and variables. Final classes cannot be extended. So if we try to inherit from a final class, we get a compile error. Java core libraries have many final classes. Final methods cannot be overridden. So when we design a superclass and we want to make sure that uh, the method in this class won't be overridden, we'll make this method final. Final variables cannot be altered. So we can initialize a final variable, but we cannot reassign a new value. So final variables are used to create constant variables. Okay, great. So let's do some examples so that we can both understand this a little bit better. Just kidding. So in the object-oriented programming project, right-click on the source folder and select New, Class. Specify the package name as Final Keyword and the class name as Vehicle. Vehicle class is a superclass. Now let's declare an instance variable that's named model with a string type in vehicle class. And let's declare a void method, show max speed. And then we print max speed of vehicle is 180 as a message. How? Using the print method. And remember to save the code. Okay, so now we can create a new subclass. So right-click on the final keyword package and select New Class. Specify the class name as Car. So our subclass Car extends superclass Vehicle. So this means that the subclass Car inherits the show max speed method and the model variable from the superclass Vehicle. Now in the car class, we can override the max speed method of the superclass vehicle. And we can print the message max speed of car is 320 by using the print method. So remember to save the code. Now we want to limit some properties by using the final keyword. So let's open the vehicle class. For example, if we add the final keyword to a class definition of superclass vehicle, then save the code, so let's open the car class and see we get the compilation error. So let's look at it by just hovering your mouse over vehicle. And the error message is the type car cannot subclass the final class vehicle. So remember, final classes cannot be extended. I thought that sounded familiar somewhere. So we'll select remove final modifier of the vehicle class. And now let's open the vehicle class. And you see, Eclipse automatically removed the final keyword. For example, if we add the final keyword to a method definition of superclass vehicle and save the code, let's go ahead and open the car class and we get a compilation error. 
So let's look at that. Placing the mouse over, show max speed. Okay, so there's the error message. You cannot override the final method from vehicle. So, final method cannot be overridden. You thought I was making this stuff up. So, we'll select remove final as a modifier vehicle dot show max speed method and then save that code. So now let's create a main test class that's named final test in the same package. And in the main method, we create a car object. So first, let's open a vehicle class and add a final keyword to the variable model. Now we have to initialize this variable. So we just initialize the string with double quotes. And remember to save that code. Now let's open the main class again. So if we assign a Ferrari as the value to our variable model, we get a compilation error. So let's look at that by hovering the mouse on the model variable. And the error message is the final field vehicle dot model cannot be assigned. La, la, la. So final variables cannot be altered. So now we will select remove final modifier of model and save the code. Now let's call up show max speed. Okay, so run the code. Now you see the result in the console. Overridden show max speed method is invoked and it displays the max speed of the car is 320.